let's quickly talk about MNT credit cards. I mean, MNT is a fantastic institution, and its credit cards are really some of the best around, even though they're a little uh, underestimated. So, in today's conversation, I really want to talk to you about the MNT credit cards, and I really want to help you understand how to get approved real fast. So, here's a review I really want you to pay attention to. When you think about MNT credit cards, I want you to think about first. MNT Visa Signature. This is a fantastic card, but this is a card that I want you to really uh, associate all the time with cashback. When you hear the term, uh, when you hear the terms uh, MNT Visa Signature, think about cashback. So you're getting cashback with every purchase. Fantastic. So basically, you're getting 1.5% cashback, and and this is unlimited on every purchase. Not a problem at all. No earning limits. On top of that, MNT is uh, throwing uh, at you right now $100 cash bonus. Okay, so it, basically, if, if you if you spend a five hundred dollars in the first ninety days of account ownership, they'll take care of you, not a problem. And another that another one, one thing we also love is that this card actually has no annual fees and no foreign fees, so foreign exchange fees. So the thing here that you have a, a I would say a cashback that is packed with a, a lot of treasures. Okay, when when it comes to cashback for families, for example, for for I would th I think for 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 adults who actually spend a lot on groceries, on restaurants, whatever. We just love the fact that there are no rotating categories at all, at all okay? So the, the card is called MNT Visa Signature. And the thing here is that you have a, you have a, a card that is very simple also. And uh, it's just that the 1.5% the it's just fantastic. On top of that, you have low intro rate offer. So you have 0% intro APR on purchases and balance transfers for 12 billing cycles. This is kind of cool. And after that, you have an APR that goes beyond, it goes from 18.99 to 22.99%. Fantastic. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here and have a convo with you about things that really matter. And uh, now, MNT credit cards. This this MNT Visa signature is just a fantastic card, as I said. Okay, but you want to think about it only for only for cashback. I mean, of course, yeah, you have the zero percent uh, the zero percent intro offer on. Uh, Let's say on balance transfers and uh, and purchases for 12 months. That's that's pretty good too. But what what you what you really you want to use this card this card for is for balance is for cashback cashback on uh, anytime you think about cashback and you think about M and T think automatically about M and T Visa signature. Next, I want you to think about MNT Visa with Rewards. This is another card here, and this is a card that I want you to really think about. I want you to associate with Rewards. So you want to make your purchase, every purchase that you have with MNT, with an MNT credit card, you want to make this purchase more rewarding when you earn unlimited points. So the first, the first card of, uh, I mean, the first uh, MNT card, credit card, I told you to think about cashback. This card, I want you to specifically think about unlimited points. Okay, and basically, you have unlimited points. You, you, you earn unlimited points, one point per dollar on every purchase, every purchase with no spending limits. Think about that, no spending limits. Uh, on top of that, you are earning. 10,000 bonus points equal to $100 cash or or, or a statement credit when you spend $500 in the first 90 days. This is really good. And the card actually has no annual fee. The card actually also has the same, that has a, a an offer that is analogous to the first card. So basically you have a one, you have a 0% intro APR on purchases and balance transfers for 12 billion cycles. Okay, and then uh, you have a variable APR after that of eighteen ninety nine to twenty two ninety nine. So this is really cool. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about uh, M and T credit cards. I'm giving you the latest, the latest and freshest hacks. I want to talk to you about the, the cards, how to how to apply, how to qualify for the card, how to get the maximum limits on an M and T credit card. So the first card is M and T Visa Signature. Second card is M and T M and T visa with rewards one thing i want to say here is that this card also is great when it comes to uh, helping you manage your account online so you are you are able to see everything on mobile also or online and this is a card that is a, that's really great because uh, you have immediate credit line of availability when paying your credit card online from an mnt account so basically it, it really helps i was speaking about that little one it really helps when you have a relationship with the mnt because basically what will happen here is that if they approve you let's say they approve you for they approve you for five thousand dollars and in credit limits that money is available right away now like you can actually start spending the, the money even before the card arrives in the mail 
but in other words, you know, you have the sort of digital wallets, so you can use the card for purchases online and what, what have you without having the card in the mail yet. So this is kind of cool. The third card I want to talk to you about is called the MNT Visa. This is very simple. So first card, MNT Visa Signature. Second card, MNT Visa with Rewards. Third card, MNT Visa. So this is a card that actually is very simple. Like this card, you basically can use it for nearly everything. You're not going to, you're not going to earn rewards. You're not going to collect cash back. This is just a, a regular credit card that you can use to make purchases and manage transactions with ease. Now, this is, this is in our view, the, the lowest tier, the, the lower tier, the, the lower tier credit card with MNT. And basically when you start, let's say you have a, you have poor credit or you, you don't have a solid relationship yet with the MNT. This is the card you want to start you, you want to start with. So do not apply for the other two cards if you don't have some kind of a stellar stellar financial profile. If you have like if you just have a basic profile financially and or you have a, a you know a recent a novice relationship with the MNT, go with the go for the MNT visa. That way you know that you are getting you you are getting approved with a decent limit. If you if you if you went for the MNT visa signature or the MNT uh, visa with rewards, you might get you might get rejected. So you don't want that, right? So you don't want to be uh, rejected here. Don't suffer a rejection. So go with uh, so MNT visa is, is pretty good because this is a card that actually has a lower like a lower interest rate, but you have no like you don't earn anything. Okay, and but you still have a, what we call, you know, still have the same offer, the zero percent intro APR on balances and, and ba on balance transfers and purchases for twelve billion cycles. Okay, and then uh, the, the the cool thing afterwards is that the APR on this card is lower. So MNT is really trying to compensate the fact that you don't have you have no rewards or no cashback on this card by giving you a lower APR. So this is really cool. So the the APR on this card goes from seventeen ninety nine to twenty one. 0.99% depending on your credit worthiness. This is this is really cool. And this card has no annual fee. Fantastic. And we also love the fact that you can use the card for a lot of things. I mean, you can lose not a lot of things, nearly everything, nearly everything. Okay. And you, you just have to use this card responsibly and say, okay, you know what? I, I, I want to really uh, get a, a higher APR, not, not higher APR. I want to get a higher limits, but I want to use the card responsibly. And I, I want to pay my, uh, my, let's see, my, my, uh, card balance on time i want to pay whatever like my bill on time okay they are important now i want to talk to you about mnt visa secure this is the fourth credit card i want to talk to you about so when you think about when you close your eyes and think about mnt credit cards i want you to think about mnt visa security if you are just new when it comes to credit Let's say you are 18 years old and you're just starting to build credit or you want to build credit or you are trying to rebuild credit. In other words, stuff happens to you and you are, you are an adult and but stuff happened to you and uh, you now you have to restart your credit building journey. So this is really cool. And uh, I mean, what, what's cool is that MNC Visa Secured actually helps you do that. OK, so you are basically, uh, you know, you're basically what you have to do is you have to deposit a, uh, a minimum of 250 with uh, MNT, and what we we'll do, what they will do is that they will actually uh, issue you uh, a, a a secure credit card. And the cool thing is that MNT is really fast when it comes to graduating graduating folks from secure credit cards to unsecured credit cards. We have heard actually that they actually can um, they can actually um, upgrade you real fast, like four months. I mean, the record we, we have heard was a uh, three months and 15 or 16 days. This is really good because a lot of credit cards out there, including, including Capital One, including uh, including uh, credit cards from uh, like secure credit cards, that is secure credit cards from Navy Fed, for example, and uh, other institutions, they graduate you after six to nine months. Some even wait for one year before graduating you. Like like I'm talking about the uh, Discover Secure Credit Card, for example. But this M&T Secure Visa sec Secured, they can graduate you within they can they can graduate you within three to four months so this is really good so we're talking about you actually having the ability to have a regular unsecured credit card within four months even if you are new to credit think about that okay but but by the way boss i want to quickly remind you of today's uh, conversation the topic we are addressing today is uh mnt credit cards i'm giving you the latest the latest hacks 
the hacks that you need to get the cards that you need. Now, the thing here is that if you are thinking about this MNT Visa secured, make sure that you are also paying attention to, like, make sure you pay your bills on time because this is what's going to help uh, MNT determine that you really care about you having an unsecured credit card and they're going to graduate you, get graduate you real fast. On top of that, also, they allow you to see your credit score. So, this is really cool. Now, here's a review I want you to think about. Now, I, I just spoke to you about MNT credit cards. There are four types of credit cards, right? So we have the uh, the Visa Rewards, the Visa, the, the, the Visa, the Cashback. We have the regular Visa, and then we have the Secured. Now, why should you choose a credit card from MNT? There are a lot of reasons. I mean, MNT to start with is a fantastic is is really a fantastic institution. A lot of folks don't talk about like they're not really known in the country, so people are kind of like, yeah, you know, which bank is this? But the geographies where they are are present because it is it's not a national uh, bank; it is a geo restricted bank, so it is a regional bank, and so basically, it, a regional bank in the sense that it's more like tier three banks. Okay, it's not a tier two bank. Tier two bank, you're thinking about PNC, U.S. Bank. You're thinking about you're thinking about Fifth Third. You're thinking about um, like uh, you know you're thinking about all those big banks. You have, for example, you have a uh, uh, Truist. And tier tier one, you're looking at Chase, you're looking at uh, West Fargo, you're, think, you're thinking about City, you're thinking about uh, Bank of America, okay? So M&T is a tier three bank in our analysis, the way we, an we analyze banks in the United States and credit card issuers. But still, why should you get a, a credit card from M&T? Because you are able to transfer funds from your bank account and you can track all the expenses in one place, right? Imagine they're, they're giving you a 0% a offer for balance transfers and purchases for 12 months this is really cool okay you can actually uh, bank on your own schedule you you can use your uh, your mnt money smart cash cash flow feature to predict your balance okay you are able to also pay with your card using your digital wallet i was just speaking to, to, to you this earlier like i was i was just telling you this earlier when i said if you get approved for an mnt credit cards even if the credit card is taking for like 10 days to actually come in the mail you have the ability to access your credit card right away i mean you know you can actually make purchases online whatever you can go to where the card is the, the card's presence physical presence is not is not necessary this is kind of cool and one thing we love about mnt also is that you can actually um, get approved if you have a credit score of uh 580 or more so 580 that's the that's the minimum that mnt is requesting so in our view 580 that this is really really flexible when it comes to approval and 580 with minimum income of one thousand dollars per uh, per month Let me give you a few pro tips here. So the thing is, when you think about um, M&T, you got to really first think about, okay, for, I just spoke to you about the fact that th they will accept you. They, they will accept your application. They will approve you for, and M&T is really known also for higher credit limits. They actually go all the way to uh, $75,000 for individuals and for some business credit cards, when, when whenever available, they can go all the way to $100,000 or $250,000. So again, like I said, this is a bank, this is a bank that, kick, that kicks ass. People don't know a lot about that bank, but they are really doing a lot of good stuff, okay? And so you have higher credit limits on the personal side. They have a uh, flexibility in terms of minimum FICO score that they will look at. The only thing is they want you to really, really uh, pay it. They really want you to build a relationship with them like if, if they really know you if they really they've seen the you know cash flow transactions from you inflows and outflows they'll really approve you on top of that they really also love love it when you have like a direct deposit with m t with it within it within with, i mean you have direct deposit into an m t uh, bank this is really cool they love this a lot and they also really appreciate it when you actually have let, let's say a diversity of credit accounts with them so when i talk about you know when I say build a relationship, I'm speaking about having a multi-product relationship. In, in other words, you want to have like a, a one checking account minimum, one savings account minimum. Consider m and for your direct deposit. I just said that. Also, if you want to uh, use them for a CD certificate of deposit, that would be fantastic. You can also consider the bank for, for your investment, your investment needs. Like they have brokerage accounts that you can actually tap into. So 
you need to avail yourself of, of all the possibilities they had so that you are able to uh, actually uh, get higher credit limits on their m and credit cards okay and the cool thing is you can actually apply very quick they don't ask for a lot of things they just ask you for it like the whole application process takes about less than 10 minutes i mean maximum 10 minutes the uh only the 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 visa the rewards card takes a little bit like uh 12 minutes but for the rest it's only 10 minutes okay and they'll just ask you for they ask for your social security number they want you to be uh, of course you got to be a u.s citizen or resident resident alien and you got to be at least 18 years years of age okay and so they also have sometimes they have a, a pre-qualification process whereby you have a, a soft pull only before getting a hard pull Let me talk to you about let me give you a bonus here if you if you have been um if you have listened to me so far i really appreciate you thank you so much the thing is i've been talking to you about mnt credit cards okay what if you say you know what i applied for mnt credit cards but they they have denied my ass and i've tried everything i don't know what's happening why why don't they like me blah 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 now there are reasons why they they denied you because they'll let you know anyway when, when they denied you they'll let you know they'll give you a, what they call a denial letter and uh, they, they will explain their unfavorable decision why they actually uh, said no to you and then you can look at the, the letter and say exactly what kind of a uh, problem you they think uh, they think you have like a bad FICO score or a high CUR, a high credit utilization ratio or they they, they they think right now your income is still low they'll let you know anyway but the thing is, if you say, you know what, I want to try something else, you know, I want to try something else, regardless of their approval or denial, denial of my uh, credit card application. But you can try to get a personal loan from m &T. That's possible, too. Here you are. You are getting a loan from two thousand dollars to fifty thousand dollars. This is really cool. So think about it. You know, two thousand to fifty thousand dollars. You are able to do a lot of things with the loan. And, you know, the requirements are kind of similar. You have uh, analogous analogous uh, requirements you have a uh, one thousand dollars minimum gross gross income every month you have uh you have a uh, 580 585 when it comes to fico score they want you to show proof of employment they want you to show like a proof of uh, like stability in your employment make sure you have uh, of course the relationship i spoke about with m t so you were able to prove that you have a solid relationship with the with the bank this is really cool but in addition to personal loans they also offer a uh, a diversity of uh, other uh, a diverse mix of other loans student like you have student loans for example you have auto loans you have also marine and recreational vehicle loans you have rv loans and uh, so you have a constellation of loans with the uh, mnt bank again what, what we love here is that not all uh, not all loans are available based on the geography you are applying from but hey listen if you if you the, the best thing is if you're interested in having, having a loan like they also have a Line of, they also offer lines of credit also okay for like lines of credit from on the personal side but also on the business side so you have the duality here so the, the the best way for you is the best your best bet your best bet is to actually uh go to a branch have a conversation with uh, a rep there ask all, all questions you might have and, and do the same thing for credit cards do the same thing for credit cards explain to them your your intentions your goals and then do the the application at the branch that way you are able to apply after after receiving explanations on everything that you need explanation for that way you know exactly what you're getting yourself into and you can make the right the, the right decision right then and there okay fantastic Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about MNT credit cards, and I actually spoke to you about the four types of credit cards that the MNT have has, and I give you a review also and the bonus. Thank you. God bless you. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.